Assalamu alaikum again, how are you? Hope that everything is going well. I know that it's very difficult to you to learn distance learning or to apply the distance learning, but try to collaborate with us. Uh, the chapter that you are dealing with is very nice. It's very simple. You need to concentrate, not more than that, okay? The first two sessions, we have uh, ended them. And I hope that you have recalled them carefully because we need the techniques that we have used in the previous sessions, okay? Now, you have in your textbook, in your text, sorry, some exercises. You need to solve them before you complete. You are going to solve such exercises at the end of the lesson, okay? Now, the third uh, kind of the differential equations that we may see, it looks like ay double prime plus by prime plus cy equals to zero. Notice that the exponential function, before we start, before we read this, this is a second order linear differential equation. We are going to assume that a, b, and c are constants, okay? Now, in order to solve such equation, separable variables uh, doesn't work here because we have, uh, not we, you know, the, the mathematicians try to solve such equation. They have noticed that the exponential function has a similar derivative to the function itself. You know, the derivative of e power x is e power x. The derivative of e power 2x is 2e 2x. They, so they look like each other. They assume that the solution of that differential equation has the form of y equals k r e r x. Again, I'm going to repeat. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to give you a hint about how did we get the formula. It's not required from you to prove it again every time you need to solve. Whenever we reach the formula, apply the direct, directly the formula, apply it directly without any proof, okay? But it's very nice to know from where did we get that formula. As a result, y prime is k r e r x, y double prime is k r squared e r x. Replacing y prime, y double prime, and y in the differential equation, we, got, we get this. Now, we may take k e r x as a common factor. We obtain a r squared plus b r plus c. You know that k is any constant, which is different than zero, because we don't need to uh, have k equal to zero. And we know that e r x is positive. Observing this equation, it's a factor multiplied by k multiplied by e r x. The only one that could be equal to zero is this. Now let us recall, this is a second degree equation, okay? This is second degree equation in terms of the variable r. We are dealing with the set of complex numbers. We don't care about the delta, is it positive or negative? It could be anything. So this equation is called the characteristic equation. This characteristic equation is an essential part of the solution. So you have to write it later on, as we will see in the examples later on. Now observe, to solve this equation, we are going to obtain three different cases. The first case, if delta is positive. If delta is positive, then the characteristic equation, this, has two real roots, R1 and R2. So the general equation of the differential equation E is given by, revise it, A, E, R1, X, plus B, E, R2, X, since delta is positive and according to the assumption. Example. Let us solve this equation. It is a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients, two minus three and minus five. Now, before we solve this, we are going to write the characteristic equation. The way of solving that equation is the way that you are going to follow, okay? So don't uh, skip any step. The characteristic equation should be written. You are going to show us the, character, the characteristic equation, which, to, which is two R squared minus three R minus five. You may use your calculator to find the solutions. This equation has two roots. R1 equals minus one and R2 equals five over two. According to the formula, we have said that the general solution of the equation E is given by Y equals A E power minus X plus B E power, uh, sorry, power five over two X, where A and B, as we have said previously, are two arbitrary constants. Case number two, if delta equal to zero, if delta equal to zero, you know that the characteristic equation or the second degree equation has a double root. This double root is given by R. If that has a double root, we, call, we have called it R. The general solution of the equation, it has this uh, form of solution. Y equals, observe, it's A, it's A alone, plus BX, multiplied by ERX. You have to recall this form in order to be able to solve such equations. And as you know, A and B are two arbitrary constant. As an example, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 4y equals to zero. Now, the characteristic equation of that differential equation is given by r squared minus 4i plus 4 equal to 0. And the solution of that equation is 2. It has a double root, which is 2. So applying the formula directly, y equals a plus bx, e 
power 2x. This is the general equation, sorry, the general solution of the differential equation E. And as we have mentioned many times, A and B are two arbitrary constant. If we need to find A and B, this means that we need another uh, or two extra information. Now the third case, observe the third case. If data is negative, then the characteristic equation has two complex roots. One of them, we are going to call it alpha, sorry, R1, which is alpha plus I beta. The second one, alpha minus I beta. Now, the general solution of the differential equation, observe it. Now, you may be confused, you may be afraid of that formula. No, don't be afraid. It's very simple. Observe, the thing that we need in that equation are alpha and beta. We need one of these two roots. So simply find one of them, concentrate on it, and pick alpha and beta. Plug in that equation. Y equals A cosine beta x, the imaginary part of, L, of R plus b sine beta x e alpha x. This is the general solution of the differential equation if delta is negative. Now example, y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y equal to 0. Also, we are going to write the characteristic equation of the differential equation e, which is r squared plus r plus 4. As you observe, the solution of that characteristic equation are complex. The real part is minus half, the imaginary part is radical 15 over 2. We know that this equation has two complex roots. We need one of them. Let us observe. This is alpha and this is beta. Ignore that solution. We don't need it. The solution of that differential equation, as you know, alpha is minus half and beta is radical 15 over 2. Simply plug in the formula, we get the general solution of E is y equal a cosine radical 15 over 2x, which is beta x plus b sine beta x, which is radical 15 over 2x, multiplied by e power minus half x. And as we mentioned many times, a and b are two arbitrary constant. Now let us take an example and applications. Let us solve these differential equations. Before you start solving this differential equation, what should we do? The, for the first equation, you have to write the, character, the characteristic equation, the same for the second and the same for the third. So the first one, Writing the, character, the characteristic equation, we observe that this equation has two complex roots. Simply, the general solution is given by that formula. Simply apply the formula, plug in the formula, and you are able to find the solution directly. The second kind, y double prime, I'm sorry, the second part, y double prime plus 4y plus four, prime plus 4y equal to zero. The characteristic equation is this. Now to solve this, you are going to obtain that this equation has a double root, which is minus two. Plug in the equation, you are going to have that solution. At the end, the third example, and as you observe, it's r squared plus 4 equal to 0. Also, this equation has a complex root, which is one of them is 2i and the other one is minus 2i. Now observe, alpha is 0, so write it as, as 0. The general equation, y equal a cosine beta x, which is 2x, plus b sine beta x, which is also 2x, multiplied by e0x. You know that e0x is 1. This means that that general solution is given by a cosine 2x plus b sine 2x. Now we are going to take a general exercise. And you know, and as you will know later on, the exercises that you are, that you are going to face, the essential thing in order to be able to solve that problems is to know how to solve such simple differential equations, okay? So the, 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 the exercise is not going to be simple. You need to solve the differential equation y double prime minus 2y prime plus 3y equal to zero. No, we are going to link it to the function as we see, we will see here. Observe, given the differential equation E, y prime minus y equals to x e x. Now observe, does this equation looks like what did we use or what did we mention previously? Of course not. Here, y prime minus y are familiar, but the second number is not a constant. What should we do here? Usually in such equations, we are going to be given a helper function. Helper function look like this. looks like this. y equals z e x. z e x, it means that there is a function z and multiplied by exponential x. This function is a helper function. يعني هيدا راح يساعدنا بعد شوي لنقدر نحل هيديك الإكوشن. كيف؟ Let us observe. Part A, I'll form a differential equation E prime satisfied by Z. As we mentioned previously, an equation satisfied by Z should be consisting of what? Should consist of what says? It should consist Z, not Y, not Y prime. طيب شو بدنا نعمل هون لحتى نطلع ال differential equation satisfied by Z؟ فكروا شوي لحتى كافي الأسئلة. Part B, I'll solve the differential equation E prime نحنا already طلعنا هاب شوي. Part C, deduce the general solution of E. طب بس إللي deduce the general solution of E. طب شو خسر E prime؟ أكيد خسر E prime. يعني هو عم يعطينا هون شيء لحتى يساعدني لحتى طلع أنا the general equation of the given equation E. يعني هو عم يعطينا هون part part لحتى أقدر طلع على حالي 
لانه انا لحالي دغري هيك اي ام نوت ايبل تو سولف ات رايت ناو ات ذا اند فايند ا بارتيكولار سوليوشن فيريفاينج ذات ليت اس ستارت وذ ذا فيرست وان بارت اي اللي فورم ا ديفرنشال ايكويشن ساتيسفايد باي زد اي برايم طب شو يعني ساتيسفايد باي زد شو فينا نعمل اصلا هون if y equals z x and you have y prime minus y simply you are able to think about we are able to find y prime okay and replace it in that equation this is the only way y equals z x what is y prime هلا هون تبول شوي بس اجي انا اقول لكم اي اساس y equals z x في كثير من التلاميذ الشاطرين اللي مثلكم بفكروا z هي any variable which whose derivative is 1 which is wrong the derivative of z is z prime Now, to apply the derivative of this, you are going to use the general formulas of the derivative. One of them is u dot v, as you remember. Now, u dot v prime, if you remember, I think that you remember, u dot v prime is u prime v plus v prime. Let us apply. Let's see. u prime is z prime multiplied by v, which is ex, plus v prime, the derivative of ex, ex, Multiplied by z, so this is y prime. Now, what can we do? فكروا شوي. أكيد يعني شو لحنا نعمل. We are going to replace y prime in that equation and y in that equation. We are going to obtain the following: z prime e x plus z e x in terms of y prime instead of y prime. I'm sorry. Minus y. Y is z e x. ما تحطوا هون z e x و z prime e x تخلوا لي هون y. ما عملنا شيء. We are going to get rid of y. Okay? To form the differential equation e prime, which is satisfied by z. Now, simple calculations, you are going to obtain z prime e x plus z x minus z x is 0. So z prime e x equal to x e x. And you know that e x is a number which is different than 0, which is positive. So this differential equation can be written in this way. So z prime equals to x. Now, z prime equals to x. Is it an equation? Is it a differential equation? Is it a differential equation satisfied by z? Of course, why? Because we see z prime. We don't see any other variable. Dependent variable, I mean, and we don't see y, we don't see y prime, we see only z prime and x. So it is a relation between z prime and x. Can you solve that equation? This is part A. I'll solve e prime. Solve e prime. Z prime dx equal to x dx. Simply integrate. We are able to find that z equals x squared plus c. Now, this is z. Think. If you know z, are you able to find y? I think yes. It's very simple. Since y equals z dx, then the general solution of e is given by y equals z, which is x squared plus c multiplied by x. This is the general solution of e. And as you observe, z or y equals z dx was very, very helpful in order to find the solution of the equation e. Now, to find the particular solution, we are given that information. Since y of 0 equals 1, what does it mean? y of 0 equals 1, this means that replace instead of x 0. And y is 1. So this y is 1 and this x is 0. Replace. Simply you get c equals 1. So the particular solution of e, let us call it f, is given by f x equals x squared plus 1 e x. Now as you observe, you know that in the exponential function or the length function, you used to study the variation of that function, draw the graph, find the equation of a tangent, blah, 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 blah. These such, sorry, such these exercises, they start with a differential equation and they end with this, and you are going to complete the study of that function. It's very simple, as you will see later on in the exercises that you are going to solve, inshallah. Now, thank you for your listening. As a remark here, you may write it, you may read it. This is a remark that looks like uh, a helper function. Read it, it's very nice. It's, I'm not going to mention it uh, more than this. This is a summary table. Uh, y power, y, I'm sorry, the derivative of y equal to fx, how can you solve it? And we have summarized the cases that we may face in such uh, chapter. And at the end, thank you, shukran kulli astaz. Insha'Allah, tkun istafadtu min l'amalna. Lahi n'tabah nahna wiyakum the sessions l'lahin. Lahi n'hal exercises. Shi t'nain or t'lait exercises ya'atuna fikra ammi an n'hayda ad-dars. Bitmana, abil man balish bi l'next videos, tkunu n'tu haddartu, shtagaltu, haddartu, 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 haddartu,